Hi, I'm Marlon and welcome to this White Noise Studio quick review of two free mid-size processing plugins and those are the Fokchenko MSED and the BX Solo by Brainworks. Let's get right to it. But first, let's do a quick explanation of mid-size. If you're already familiar with mid-size and don't want to hear my babbling, here is where the review starts. Okay, you're still here. Mid-size processing is very powerful. Uh, the most common use is when you want to enhance the stereo width of your audio track or make it smaller. In codecs like FLAC, mid-size is used. Also on FM broadcast and don't forget, vinyl. Other than having your stereo track split into a right and left channel, uh, mid-size will split your track into a mid and side channel. The mid channel is when you add the left and right channel together. So when you make your stereo track mono. So left plus right is mono. The sides is the stereo information on the sides of your audio track. Uh, the side channel is the difference between your left and right channel. So the side channel is the left channel minus the right channel. Okay, and with that information, let's go to the plugins. Here we have the two free mid-size plugins. The MSED by Fokchenko and the BX Solo by Brainworks. Let's first start with the MSED by Fokchenko. I will use the track Verkoop Manager by Cannibalistic Squirrel as an example for this mid-side plugin review. I did a full breakdown of this thrash metal song in the video here. Uh, if you want, you can check it out. First, a part of the song. Okay, uh, let's break down the controls. First, let's mute the mid or solo the sides. So that is how the side signal sounds. Let's mute the sides or solo the mids. Okay. This control sets the panning of the mid signal. And with this control you can pan the sides signal. Usually you won't use the mid panning or side panning, but it can be useful. Uh, for instance, I did a mastering a while back where the balance was a bit off. It sounded a bit off the middle. If I raised the right or the left channel, it did not help. But when I panned the mids, it brought it right into the center. So in that case, it works really well. Let's go to the mid gain and side gain. With these two, you can set your stereo width. Let's check it out. So to widen your stereo, you can either lower your mid gain or raise your sides gain. Uh, and then of course, the other way around works too. If you want to make the stereo width smaller, you can raise the mid gain and lower the sides gain. Um, if you raise the sides gain too much, your stereo image can collapse. Let's check that out. You can see the Corello meter going into the reds, which means it's totally out of phase. And then we have these two buttons, channel swap and flip 180. Channel swap will swap your left and right channel and flip 180 will phase reverse uh, your audio. And then we have this here, uh, mode. Mode will set uh, the settings of this plugin. You can do inline, so you do all the mid-side processing inside this plugin, you can do encode which will encode the stereo track into a mid side and send it out sounds like this then the mid will be on the left channel and the sides on the right channel and if you want to use it again then actually you have to have a second uh, msed installed which does decode which will uh, decode the mid side signal into a left right the usage of the encoding and decoding in MSED is when you want to encode your stereo track into mid-site for further processing. 
I use this with external hardware. Uh, first, I will take one MSED into encode. Then I will add a, let's for instance say a channel strip. Uh, then it will sound like this. And uh, then I will insert another MSED. It's over here. And I will set it to decode. Then I can use this uh, dual mono channel strip as a mid side channel strip. Uh, let me demonstrate. So when I use MSED as an encoder for mid sides uh, for external hardware with, for instance, this WA273 EQ, um, the top channel will be the mid channel and the bottom one will be the sides channel. And it sounds like this. And then I can use the EQ for mids and sides separately. So using mid sides with a dual mono unit like this is very easy with MSED. Okay, let's check out the BX Solo. It offers less functions, but it also offers different functions. Let's go over. First of all, just with MSED, it has a left channel and right channel swap. And there's a mid solo and a sides solo. And this is where the plugins differ. Um, the BX Solo offers left and right channel solo buttons. So this is the left channel in solo. And this is the right channel in solo. Also, if you want to only want to process the right channel or left channel, you can duplicate the original track and make one the left solo, the other the right solo and work from there. And instead of separate knobs for the mid and side gain, this one offers a stereo width, which is, uh, of course, how much you raise or lower the sides. And this knob is tapped. So that's a little bit less flexibility than MSED. Both plugins have their strengths. Uh, the MSED is more versatile with the encoding and decoding, but the BX Solo offers the left and right solo functions. And since they both are free, why not use them? Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.